Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So, I did a video doing my nails, and plus my camera is like getting me on a nut angle, which is not attractive. Um, but I don't have anything right now to put it on. So, I did a video, which you're going to see after this, of me doing my nails. And I did the best that I could in the living room. While I was doing my nails, I was like, oh, let me real quick uh, have Dave just film me real quick. Now, I'm going to show you them. And this is what I did. And, um... These are all mine. They're growing. I had some breakage and um, I think this one's broke. I show you how I paint them with gel now and I show them. I show you how to put the poly gel on the nails. Let's understand, I am not a professional. I taught myself how to do this and Emily uh, as well. And um, I'm just, why are we doing that? And uh, yeah, so I've been doing them for, you know, for a very, very long time. Started out doing gel nail polish, which I love. And um, and then I started doing the poly gel uh, nail enhancement. Uh, so I'm going to show you very quickly the brand that I love. I bought this myself. Uh, this is like the whole kit, but you can, of course, buy you know, just bits and pieces of it. You don't have to have all the things. Um, also, I will link this down below with some gel nail polish and the light that I used, which I show you in the video as well. So, I love this. I love it every time, because this took me a minute to do, let me just tell you, because I had to redo them, redo, um, like do the fill-ins and all that. Now, what I'll do this next time is I'll take the nail polish off, I'll just do nail gel nail polish, um, and then that'll last me another week or two, and then about every, I'm going to say three weeks to a month, depends on how fast my nails grow and how annoying they get to me um, is how soon I will go and like file them down and, you know, refill them and that kind of thing. I just put on TV and I sit and watch shows. I'll watch, you know, whatever and just sit and do it or I'll put on music or what have you. So this is called Morbe and I, right? More. Well, yeah, Mobray, Mo 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 M O M O B R A Y. I'm out of it today. Okay, poly gel, and this is the box it comes in, and I love this. You hear how nice that box is? The box. So when I'm done with it, I'm gonna repurpose the box. But that's neither here or there. So it comes with an, a really nice nail file, which I have out uh, there. I think uh, Emily was using it, and then you get the brush and the little scooper, all right? So everything is contained in this. You get a, uh, I probably explained this in the video coming up, I can't recall. You get a base coat and a top coat. Man, welcome to the thing. She's so prepared all the time. Come on, okay on it i mean these are nice big bottles so you get the uh base coat and top coat love them they work fantastic and they're no wipe so like a lot of the gel nail polish that i get i gotta like uh use um alcohol to soap oil alcohol to uh clean you know to like get the little bit of stickiness off which i don't care but um these are no wipe you get Again, you'll see all this in the video, so, but I just want to make sure I can't recall how well I told you. This is called slip solution, and this is what you'll dip your brush in to, like, smooth out the um, gel and everything like that. And you get, I mean, you get, how many ounces does it say? It does not say, but it's, you can, it's a big bottle. And I've used this probably already, Jizo Pete's, uh, I'm going to say six seven times. I mean, I've used it a lot. And then you get these containers, which I'm almost empty of. I gotta buy a new one. Of the, this is white. This is the poly gel white. This is natural pink. This is clear. And this one is nude. And the only one that I don't dig the texture of, and I don't know if it's bad or if it's 
I don't know. Chemically reacting to, I, I don't know. Is the white. It doesn't work that good. Um, it, it, I don't know. It just is very, uh, like thick and it won't, I don't know. I just don't like it. It's not my favorite. So I won't order that again. And then you get, I don't know if I'm going to be able to look these up, but I'm going to try. <laughs> Come here, little friends. Come here. All right. Oh. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> if I'm afraid, uh, that's what I was afraid of. Okay, some of them fell off, but you'll get the gist of it. These are all nails, all nail tips. Except the great thing is these are reusable. So you'll see, like you use it, you pop it off, you put it back in here, you're good to go. They're numbered. So, you know, if you're like me and want to do it, I haven't done that yet. I would love to um, remember what like number goes on what nail. It would make it much more easier for me if that's even a word. Um, yeah. So, and I used another brand in the beginning. I don't even remember the brand and I didn't care for it. They only, uh, I only bought like the necessity, you know what I mean? And I just didn't dig it. I got this and I'm like, girl, I just, I can't, I just, oh, I love it. I love it. So that's what comes in this kit. Like I said, I'll link it down below, but you definitely can buy, um, just like one color. You know, you could, buy it like each piece separate. Maybe you don't want all the colors. Just get like, I think clear was the one I used last, um, which I did the video. So, you know, that one's good. Um, like I said, I think it's just the white that's really crappy because I'm, I'm, I'm gone. My nude is about gone. The nude pink, the other pink's about gone. So, but I love these. I love these. I love these. I love these. And like I said, it's so easy. So if for whatever reason you decide to buy these or to buy a gel, you know, a poly gel, uh, fast building nail kit and you need help, um, let me know, hit me up down below at the email at the everywhere, you know, I'm everywhere. If you click the description below, You'll find the link to this, the link to the cool, the light, which is very inexpensive, but it works fantastic. Um, I've had that forever, ever, ever. Because uh, I can do it with the gel nails. I can do it with these. The gel nail polish and with this. Um, but yeah, and then, you know, we could... I'll help you. I'll meet you on the Skype or the live show, whatever, and we'll do nails together. Uh, and I'll, you know, walk you through it because I love it. You don't have to have, like, you don't have to make, these are my nails underneath, like my nails. I don't know how long you'll be able to sing, but you can just put this on your regular nail, uh, just for a little bit of protection, which I do dig the gel nail polish for that reason. But um, this makes them harder for me because painting and always washing my hands and if I'm cooking or um, irrelevant to probably most of you, but my fingers stick, I have RA and fibro and they hurt and they get stuck in these weird things and I'll hit my hand, I'll hit my nails. Anyway, um, yeah, so these do not come off and I love them. To get them off, uh, you can soak them uh in acetone nail polish which you could get at the dollar store you could get at sally's or walmart you could get it at five below five below i got a real big one like this for five five three or five bucks um and i use that so uh if you buy one of these or you have them let me know and down below and see if you can post a picture down below or email me a picture of your nails and that kind of thing. I have a giveaway I'm going to do, um, has nothing to do with this. This wasn't given to me. I bought them because I figured anybody can use these. They are these clips that go onto your fingers and they're in the other room and I don't have them, but they're clips that go on your fingers, um, that you put cotton in with nail polish remover and you clip them on. So when you're doing these or you're doing gel nails or what have you, and you don't want to sit like this and everything like that or soak them, you put your soaked cotton ball on your finger, you clip them and they sit. So you have them on your hands and um, you just sit for five minutes, 10 minutes and take them off and 
comes right off. So it's great. So um, let me know down below if you guys use these or gel nails and I will pick a winner um, and send them out. They're just nail polish remover, you know, things. And um, if you can use them, let me know why and we'll see. Maybe you'll win. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. I wanted just to come on and talk to you and show you this because I don't know how thorough the video is. I really did my best, but I should have probably done it at my desk, but my desk was a mess and I was just wanting to get my nails done and I thought, let me try to record it and see if I can do it. We shall see. I hope you guys just appreciate the fact that I tried. Uh, as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Again, links are all down below if you're interested. Um, and I just love you guys. And thank you so much for those of you who are consistently watching my videos and leaving me comments. Um, I have to answer comments tonight. Uh, I will go through and answer the, all of them. Um, I'm also going to do a video. I have some questions and stuff that need an that people are asking that I want to answer. And what else? I think that's it. I love you guys so very much. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day and are very blessed. So love you. Bye-bye. Okay. So you can see I took off, I used the nail nippers and I took off the, the growth going to be easier for me to show you on this hand than the other hand. Um, this one I completely broke yesterday out in the yard lifting a stick. So it completely broke off and it hurts very badly. But I'm going to be putting new on. So I'm going to start this hand and then I'll have Dave uh, record me doing a brand new nail on here and how I refill. Now this, they're all my nails underneath. I don't know how well, you look at that, all the paint and everything. How well you can see but um they're all mine and so this one broke uh i don't know how long ago but you can see it's growing to i'm trying to get it that length and so i'm just gonna put a coat on just so it keeps it strong um and then i'll do a video on doing a, a gel nail with the nail polish so on the other hand it looks pretty much the same so I've, uh, I don't think I've broken, let me see if I can switch. I know I'm this way, this way. Um, no, I don't have any broken nails on here. So this is all mine, all mine. So, yeah. I know, it's so confusing holding the camera doing it. Okay, that's better. So yeah, so. I'll get to getting and then I will come on and show you guys how I do it. Okie dokie. Okay, so I'm going to show you. Now I did this hand already. And, and most of these. So I left these two to show you how to put on a nail and then how just to kind of fill it in. These are all my real nails, like I said. And uh, here we go. So you get, in the kit, you get these like little plastic fake nail things. And that'll go on here. And I'm going to show you. I did that on this one. But let me show you how you do it. So first, you want to take, this is a Finger Paints Gel Polish. And it's a primer. And all I do is I'm going to prime both of these so I don't have to do it again. I'm just going to put the primer on. And that's going to help and prime your nails so everything sticks. So I do that. And well, that dries for a second. This is Deep Dream. It's a UV LED uh, nail lamp, and it is the most fantastical thing I've ever used. It's lasted forever. I did use my resin uh, lamp for a while, and then I got this. It's inexpensive. I'll link it down below if you're interested. Okay, so now I have my nail, and I just want to make sure that it's going to fit on my finger. Now that looks like it could be a little big. I don't know. Let me see if I can find the next size down to see. Okay. Okay. And that's even bigger, it looks like. So let me go up a size and see. It's hard. Now I'll show you the kit, or you already saw the kit in the when I did the video in the beginning. That's three, we want six. Why does it have to be so? Oh, 
It would help if I wasn't blind. Oh, I'm just going to stick with that one because I don't feel like going through all these. And the numbers are so hard to see. Four. Four. I don't know what number that is. Okay. We're going to move on. All right, that's five as well. Okay, we're just going to stick with five. And then what you do is you get this tool in the kit and you get some primer, which is right here. This is the uh, slip solution, rather. And I dip in. You could pour it out into something else. And I'm going to use the clear today, but it comes, like I showed you, in white, natural, and pink as well. And I take my little tool and I'm going to squeeze some out. I'm going to go onto my nail and you'll see like this is the end part. You don't want that. You want to put it in here. And then I take my brush and I'm going to push it down, push it real good and get it all around there. And push it down, you know, as far as you want, because once you put it on your nail, it's going to squish too. And then you could turn it over this way to see, like I could see over on this end, it needs a little bit more. Push it up there, it looks good. So then I'm going to just set it on my nail and give it a press. Clean up and then go underneath, I like to lay it down and just go underneath and kind of spread that a little bit so it doesn't get so thick. Make sure you get your sides. And then I'm going to put it in my lamp. Now I don't know if you're going to be able to see the lamp. I just set my nail in there. Okay. And then it'll just bake for a couple seconds. And this comes out quick. I like to, I'll do it like for the short period of time and then I know it gets hard enough then I'll show you taking the nail off. And then I'll show you the other one real quick. They're very easy. Don't leave like your tubes or anything in facing the light because it'll harden it. And I'll show you uh, how I paint one as well after we're done. Just another second. Okay. So it comes out and it, you know, goes clear and you can see it. And then all you do is wiggle. You hear it cracking. And then you got your nail. Now my nail bed, obviously my nails and all go a little crooked. I don't care, but listen, it's hard. So then I'll put it in for another second just to kind of give it, you know, an extra little bake. And it'll also bake when I do my next nail. Okay, so now we're gonna do this nail. Now you can put this back in your kit because you reuse those over and over, it doesn't get ruined, which is so exciting. So I'm gonna take my brush again, and I'm gonna take a little bit. I'm gonna wet my brush again. I'm gonna lay this on my nail like that, clean up that side a little bit, and then I'm just gonna press it to my cuticle and then bring it down and run it over what I already have. Now listen, this is just how I do it. You guys do it whatever way you want. <laughs> I'm not, a, I used to do this for a living way back in the day, over 30 years ago. Uh, so, and we didn't have this gel, the poly gel. We had acrylic nails where you got to, you know, you build it yourself and do all that. So, plus being filmed, it's, it's a little different because I want you guys to see. 
And I just kind of go and I'll brush it down and pat it. Just keep moving it around. Now I'm gonna look at it. So you're gonna, it's gonna be off camera for a second. So I gotta bring it to my face because I'm old and I can't see. And I just keep patting it because I want it to be as even. What if there's bumps or whatever, you could definitely file them out towards the end uh, once it's all set. And then I'll go underneath and make sure there's nothing there. And then turn it facing me. Because I don't want any duck nails. I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with duck nails. We used to get in trouble for duck nails. Okay. And then you can kind of dry your brush off a little bit if it's too wet. I just did it on my pants, which I wear to art in. They're my, like my pajama pants, but don't do it, you know, on your regular pants. Now I'm going to, I'll squeeze it a little bit or I'll use my thing here, you know, to make sure that like there's no extra sticking out, which you can just file as well because that happens. And I'm going to go in for my first bake. All right, I'll just do it. <laughs> I want to make sure this isn't too thick. Okay. And then after this, we'll check it one more time. And really, it doesn't take much to file. I have a filing kit, like an electric drill file that I use for this. I use more for when I'm going to fill them in, which I'll do another video on. I'm not going to do that now and bore you, but I'm boring my husband as he's sitting here filming this. Is your back hurting? Okay, another second. Okay. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. As you can see, I don't know how well you can see it. I need a little bit more up here. Dave's quaking in his boots because he's like, girl, come on. But I like to make sure I'd rather file off a little bit if I have to, but I like to do only a little bit at a time because if you you know, pile on thinking, oh, I'm going to get it all. You'll never, it'll just be a mess because I just need more up here. And if it starts getting sticky, I'll just dip it in the solution a little bit. It's like a fine line with the solution. And then I'll get a little more solution and just tap it and like flood it. Okay, make sure there's none under there. I'm gonna do that one more time. And then I'll show you how I cut the other one and file it. And you can put another coat on. I don't know what the other one's like, but I could put another coat of the uh, gel on there if I want. Which sometimes I will, it depends. I really don't think it'll help the strength of it only because um, the nail's so short and the rest of my nails are, um, you know, underneath long. Okay, okay. Let's cook. Oh. Okay. So, then I'm gonna take my nail clippers and decide how long I want this. And I'm gonna clip it. 
Yeah, see, it's not that thick, which is okay. I'm good with. And that goes flying across. I'm going to vacuum today, so that's why I like to do this. And then I'll just take my file. And file it into the shape I want. And that bad boy's done. And then this one. Well, doesn't look bad. Doesn't look bad at all. I got a little bit on the outside here you can see so I just take my nail file and I'll just go in and you know carefully sand that down to where I want it same over here And I'm not too picky, honestly. And then I'll go through and just kind of, you know, give it a quick sanding with a lighter file. You can use your drill for this as well. I don't, unless they're really bad, which sometimes, you know, in the beginning they were, but I made it work. And scuff it up a little bit and look at that looks absolutely great that silver under there I could have really filed down and all but I left it go and then we have this one I can buff up a little bit but I don't need to because I'm gonna prime it and paint them so I will be back I'm going to paint this hand off camera. I'll leave two here to paint uh, to show you, and then we'll be good to go. Okay, so I'm going to move this out of the way. You could see I got my nails done. I did some little glitters. Now, what I'll do is go back, and I have to, like, clean them up a little bit. That's just with, like, washing my hands and all that kind of stuff. I kind of, like, over flooded some of the clear coat. So I would just take my um, file and kind of go back and clean it up for a second. It literally takes no time, but I'm not going to waste time doing that. Now I'm going to do finish up and show you what I did. So I'm going to put a base coat on. And in the kit that I showed you in the beginning, uh, they give you everything. So this is just the base coat. So I will... And I primed it just like I did in the beginning. I'll put all the information down below if you're interested. And I'm going to put on my base coat. And what is good with this uh, set is that these are no wipe. So when you're all done, you go put your clear coat on at the end, your top coat. And I'm going to just put these under for a minute. Um, you don't have to wipe it with alcohol. Some of them do. Like, for instance, uh, these gelins. These are fantastic as well. Um, this is the top coat, base coat. You can use these, and when you're done, you just take some regular alcohol like you have in the house, you know, isopropyl, uh, and then you'll just wipe it, and it takes the stickiness away. Some have it, some don't. I have all kinds of different brands um, of top coat and base coats, and they're all good. And I can't find the, I can't think of the other name right now, but some wipe off and some aren't. So it's totally what your preference is uh, and what you can find, you know. I love them all. I use them all. I love them all. So then I'm just going to leave this uh, set for a second in here. They set fast, like I said, literally a minute. And this is ASP. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. This is the red nail polish I'm using. We use this brand a lot. Uh, I get these at Sally Beauty Supply. And if you uh, sign up for their email or their texts, they always have deals like buy two, get one free, buy one, get one free, buy one, get one half off. So Emily and I love going and doing that. And this color is just, um, where's the color? Where's the color? Reveal everything red. I don't know. It's not my favorite red. I love a deep 
blood red. This is like a tomato sauce red, tomato soup red. And there's some cotton, it, cotton <laughs> strips in there. So I'm gonna wipe it. My cotton ball for when I was is stuck on my nail. It happens. If you're like me, so I'll just wipe that off. My other, my base coat already is stuck, so it must have been on there, which is fine. That happens to me a lot. So then I'll, it's still on there. So we're gonna move on to this now. <sighs> okay, and I'm just painting it like I would. And I don't care, I get it on the sides. One thing about that I like is that it comes off of your skin like after you wash your hands like regular nail polish. Let me see if I can get a coat on there now. I don't know why this is being such a ass, but it is. So we're gonna go with it. And I might have to put glitter on this one as well because it's gonna have a little cotton ball hair in there, but it must be done from the bottom, so it'll be fine. And this is the other hand. Like I said, I got the glitters on there. I'll show you how I did that. That's one of the glitters. Now I've done them thicker where I've done all my nails that and I love it, but this one I let a little of the red show. I think I'm getting in the mood for the holidays and you know, that's it. Like I said, I just have to clean them up. So these two are gonna go. This is uh, for model, I call it model ones. Yeah, I think, yeah, it's, that's how it's spelled. And this is glitter. And this is one of the colors, Temperament Gold. And I have like five different colors that I got and that's the one I'm using today. So I'm gonna take, they give you a uh, brush for this as well. And I'm gonna dip in, can you get over here to see like the, it's like a pot of glitter like that. And what I'm gonna do, yeah, I might do all both. I just go on and paint it. I know it's kind of dark in here and I'm sorry. Let's see if, I don't know if you can do the light on there or not. Okay. And I'm just gonna paint it like I would nail polish. And they're chunky and move them around so you get like a spread of all of it. And I'll do two coats of this. And I'm going to do it on this one too because that one has that little fuzzy in there now encased which let me know down below if you want me to do other nail videos because I want to do some crystals and some different uh like techniques and stuff because I love doing it and every time I do my nails you guys are always commenting on how they look so I figured that uh, if you guys want, I'll do some more. I'll get a better setup though. I'll probably do it at my art desk where I have more light and space. But I forgot about recording and then I was sitting here and I thought, well, let me see if I can get my cameraman. That'll go in. And then after that, I'll do another coat and then I'll do a top coat and then we's done. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll be back to show you when I do the top coat, the final coat and how they look. Okay, so you could see I did the second coat, I did the clear coat, they're done. So now what I will do, oh, turn my machine off. I will go through all this like extra little bits on the outside, it comes off really with alcohol, um, which you probably have seen this in my first intro, in the intro video that I'm done. So I will just go in and I'll clean them up a little bit, um, which is easy to do, maybe with the file if I need it, but, you know, like to maybe shape them up. But I am thrilled to death with them. They came out really good. And especially for me trying to like film and do my bad hand and all that kind of stuff. So I'm thrilled. And like I said, that's just the clear glitter, all but the little piece, but that's gone. I mean, that's encased in, in there now. And if you're gonna do these, um, like I said, even if you have regular nails, Emily does her regular nails. She doesn't put the uh, like acrylic on top. 
she just paints them and that's all you would do just like this was a regular nail you would just paint it and do it like i used to do and it really makes your nails strong and it really does not damage them much i will sit the reason mine kind of get damaged underneath is I will sit when they get uh, ready to have a fill in and I'll pick at them and I'll peel them off and you really shouldn't. You should soak them to get them off, which isn't a big deal, but I'm lazy. So, um, but yeah, so I am thrilled to death. So they're all my nails, except this one because that one um, tended to, it broke. So this is just a complete acrylic, but it's, and I can paint and do everything that I do with them. I love them. I love this kit. And um, yeah, so let me know down below if you want to see me do some more, like some different nail art, because I love doing that. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think. So as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I appreciate you guys spending time with me, watching me do my nails. Uh, and if you're interested in any of the stuff that I used, all the links will be down below. And that's it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.